That's right, big doggy, huge. I'm talking about muscular, look at this. Look at it. Okay, hi right, folks. Um, sorry that I haven't done a devlog in a while. I know you guys have been waiting patiently for that and you guys have been waiting forever for this update and been very patient uh, with us for that and I appreciate that a lot. Um, part of the reason though that this update has taken so long is that uh, a couple of things that we had planned, uh, really cool things that we had planned for like subsequent updates, uh, kind of end up making their way into this update. And so one of those things I'm going to show you today, which is uh, that a couple of the arcade maps uh, got updated and upgraded layouts uh, for various reasons. So we're going to check those out and uh, check out what that looks like and we're going to check it out. So um, uh, I'm going to get off the screen um, for the moment so you can focus on what's going on here, okay? So today we're gonna to take a look at the maps called Heartbreaker, Paint Thinner, and Believer. So here we're at Heartbreaker first. And, you know, it's still the same place that you remember, but we just changed a few things. Now the biggest reason that we updated these layouts is because of the new AI that we have in this big update. So previously, uh, in all previous versions of the game, the current version of the game included, the AI was not really able to uh, take advantage of like low cover where we crouch. I, I think my knee actually did not make a noise that time. I'll have to check the tape. But, um, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, so anyway, our AI can crouch behind cover now, and they just use cover much more effectively now. So we wanted to give them some stuff to crouch behind, because obviously the levels weren't really designed for that before. So we've changed a few things. We've added a lot of new cover here. I'm just taking a look at uh, his new outfit here, which you can see. He's got a nice little gray tank top. There's going to be lots of new outfits. It's just one of them. But uh, he's got some gray sneaks. Some little cargo shorts, kind of dated, but you know, these guys aren't necessarily the most stylish. And I uh, got a little cap there. Um, I don't know if that was a fitted cap or an adjustable cap. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, got a nice rock there. Um, so we've got a lot more pads in and out, as you can see. And we've just got a lot more stuff that they can take, both standing cover and low cover behind. So. Uh, I've got a little porta potty there, and this I really like that we added this. There's a lot more verticality in this map now, so now you see that there's these ramps that go up on top of the uh, storage units or connex boxes, as some people refer to them. And uh, so I think uh, the camera's going to go up there in a second, but uh, so obviously you can still go inside and throughout these uh, boxes and everything. But you can also now uh, go up on top of them with these ramps. And there's kind of a little network of uh, ramps up here that, uh, you know, walkways that is uh, between these boxes. So just kind of a little bit more stuff for you to do, a little bit more stuff for the enemies to do. So they can kind of get the drop on you in different ways. And I think you'll just have much more interesting shootouts in this area. We wanted to adjust these maps because we felt like some of the maps were just kind of better than others for shootouts. But now with our new AI, we feel like all the maps have the potential to be really great. So we just wanted to uh, add a few things to them uh, so that they would really shine, you know. So here we are in Paint Thinner. A fan favorite. Now this has not had any drastic layout changes, but we just wanted to add some more stuff where they could take cover behind. So we have this awesome uh, thing that Caleb did where uh, you have this, uh, I guess it's a giant uh, bureau or chest of drawers that's fallen through the uh, ceiling there. And then, uh, so here you can see you've got some more stuff uh, to take a little cover behind. You saw those chairs there a second ago. And now here, yeah, you've got these trash cans and everything. So, subtle changes here. Now, there's a lot of other little details in this map that have been added that are really, really fun, but I'm um, kind of going to leave those for you to discover as you explore this map. But a lot of cool stuff in here uh, that was done, and uh, I think those chairs are new as well. And so, now we are in Believer. 
and so big layout changes were done here. Um, that previously was a map where I feel like the AI really struggled to take good advantage of the whole layout of the big place, but our new AI is going to be awesome in this uh, big environment. Uh, they can take cover in all these interesting places and obviously this is you know in all these maps where we uh, updated things we added obviously a lot of low cover you have heard me say that enough but um, you know this has got updated lighting and these maps have also been updated uh, in terms of like you know I, that is uh, with a focus on performance too so we've checked made sure the collision is not fucked up um, that's very important in a game like this obviously you know there's a lot of physics stuff going on a lot of uh, shooting going on so we have to have really accurate collisions because it sucks to you know shoot against something it looks like empty space but it blocks the shot or something that sucks you know so we don't want that happening so we're being very meticulous with uh the way we're checking through these maps and uh we've really given a lot of thought to just giving the enemy ai a lot more room to play and a lot more room to uh do interesting things because uh, in this update, the enemy AI is going to be a lot more capable of working together, using cover intelligently, and uh, attacking the player and defending themselves intelligently. So we wanted to update these maps now rather than later, because otherwise the AI wouldn't really have a space where they could shine and kind of do all the stuff that they can do. So... You're still, you know, in just arcade mode, you're not really seeing everything that these a new AI NPCs can do, obviously, because there's a whole bunch of stuff that we've built in for story mode and for raid, uh, things where there's NPCs who are unaware, who are patrolling, and you have opportunities to do stealth stuff, uh, and obviously uh, more advanced behaviors that are designed to be revealed later in story mode, so that's going to be really cool. Uh, Making this new AI has been really a lot of work, but it has been one of the most fun things that I have done uh, the whole time we've been working on this. Um, uh, here's the lovely part. Got some flies here. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, everybody wants to use the porta potty but no one wants to clean up. So that's life on the commune. Not easy, folks. Well, anywho, thank you for joining me. We're going to do lots more devlogs uh, between now and the release of this update. When we release it, by the way, we're going to be releasing it as soon as we possibly can, by the way. And uh, we're going to be releasing it into experimental first. Uh, it's probably just going to be just shooter enemies and like the unarmed uh, mannequin guys uh, that just kind of stand around, you know, in uh, the sandbox map. And uh, that's going to go out in experimental. Guaranteed you guys are going to find some bugs. All the bugs that you guys have reported, um, many of them will probably have been wiped clean. As I said, like, uh, these are totally rebuilt enemies, uh, rebuilt from the ground up. So uh, a lot of the old enemy-related bugs will be a thing of the past, and we will have brand new bugs uh, for you to enjoy. So I'm really looking forward to that. I know you guys are looking forward to that, and uh, like I said, we will... Keep you guys posted with lots more devlogs, so make sure you uh, like and subscribe down below. Like and subscribe down below. And make sure you leave a comment. Um, you can comment on my new haircut. I, it moves. It Like, I can put it over here, and it'll stay over here. I can put it over here, and it'll stay over here. It does what the fuck I tell it to do, okay? It's just never quite right. But anywho... Just leave a fucking comment, please. It's good for the algorithm. It helps us out. And, uh, yeah, guys. Oh, and join us on the Discord, too. We uh, try to do Q&As every week. I didn't do one this past week because we've been busy as hell. We've been working really, really hard uh, to get this update out to you guys. It's like 1 in the morning here. I You can probably see my screen. I don't know if you can see the clock on my screen. It's like 1 in the morning here right now. Uh, I'm pretty tired, but I used the last of my energy to shoot this devlog, and uh, I'm pretty happy about it. So how you guys doing? I mean, that was the devlog, but how, like, I'm still here, like, I, what, what are you guys up to? That's cool.